strikers have come, strikers have gone. We've seen the likes of Tony Yagola Yabua, Woba Force Fum. We've seen the likes of CK Jemfi and of course Baby Jetta Samojan. To mention a few, these are some of the talented strikers who once led the Blasters attack. And I believe you all agree with me on this one that Baby Jetta Samojan is the greatest striker Black Stars or Ghana have ever had. He is the all time top scorer of the Black Stars, the African player with most goals at the World Cup, two times top scorer in the United Arab Emirates League, his short and memorable spell at Sunderland. All this, among other achievements, is enough to classify Baby Jetta Samojan as a true legend. And even seven times Ballon d'Or winner, Lionel Messi, even agrees Samojan is indeed great. According to the Argentine, Samojan is one of the greatest scorers he has ever seen. And we all know nothing lasts forever. We knew one day Asamojan will retire and he will need to be replaced. But the question was who was going to be his replacement? But this was a question that didn't seem very difficult to answer. And this was because several wonder kids were emerging. The likes of Ransford say, the likes of Sadiq Adams, Dominica Dia, Abeniza Asifua. There were many of them. And back then, it seemed as if a time was coming. Ghana will be spoiled for choices as far as considering or choosing a striker is concerned. However, over time, some faded away. Others are still languishing in their shadows in lower tier football clubs. Others have become journeymen hoping to rediscover their form. In fact, some of them don't even have clubs at the moment. And this has left Ghana with no better alternative than to resort to convincing Ghanaian born foreign based players to switch nationality to Ghana and help beef the squad. And predictably, most of them are reluctant to do so. The likes of Kalum Hudson Odoi, Eddie Nketia, the Williams brothers, to mention a few. And in this video, we are going to look at some wonder kids who emerged some few years ago and Ghanaians expected them to replace Asamojan, but they couldn't or they faded out over time. Nine years ago, Ebenezer Sefua shared the same page with the likes of Pogba, Ketsuma, Samuel Umtiti, not at teammates but opponents. In the semi finals of the 2013 FIFA Under 20 World Cup in Turkey, and it was a game Ebenezer Sefua shined, scoring Blaster's Light equalizer. And even though it wasn't enough to save the Blaster's Light from a defeat and later finished third in the competition, he went on to become the top scorer in the competition. In other words, he was one of the best players in the competition. However, if you look at Paul Kogba, Kezuma, Samo Titi, most of their teammates in that French under-20 squad went on to play some of the best European teams and some still play integral roles in the French national team. But with Ebenezer Sefua and most of his teammates in that black satellite squad, that wasn't the case. Shortly after the 2013 World Cup, he joined Switzerland club FC Sion from Liberty Professionals on a four-year deal. And just like Baby Jetta Samojan, who also left from Liberty Professional to Europe, many expected Ebenezer Sefua to develop into a world-class striker. His statistics in his first season at Sion wasn't bad. Even though he was struggling to adapt, he managed to bank 15 goals in 31 appearances in all competitions. Seven of these goals came in the league. And also Ebenezer Sefua proved to be a versatile forward at Sion in his first season where he was occasionally deployed on the left wing, at times on the right wing. After his first season at Sion, though it wasn't outstanding, though it wasn't bad, there was more room for improvement. But sadly, that was going to be his best tally during his three and a half years stay at Switzerland. His second season was very tough for him. Injuries kept him out for most part of the season, and he finished the season making 21 appearances with just two goals. In the league, he played 16 times and he didn't score a single goal. His only goal contribution that season was an assist. In Asifua's third season as Sion, he was fit for most part of the season. But his numbers, his numbers were still not impressive. He featured for Sion 46 times, scoring 8 goals and assisting 9 times. And one of his memorable goals that season, that particular season, was his equalizer against Liverpool at Anfield in the Europa League. And I'm sure many of you remember that day. He made headlines here in Ghana. However, in his fourth and final season in Switzerland, Asifuwa's numbers were still low. And by January 2017, midway into the season, he was heading to the second tier of French football. He joined French second tier side, Le Havre. And at Le Havre, he was still struggling. Asifuwa was still struggling. 
And after his three years at the club, his goals were not even up to 15. In 2020, he joined Poe, another second tier side in French football. And that is where he currently plays. Ebenezer Sefou made his first and only appearance for the Black Stars in 2016. At age 28, playing his trade in the second tier of French football, is there any possibility that Sefou can revive his career and spearhead Black Stars attack one day? We we'll leave it to fate to decide. Prior to the 2009 and the 20 FIFA World Cup in Egypt, Dominic Adia was pretty much unknown. But after the tournament where he emerged the best player and the top scorer with 8 goals, he became one of the hottest prospects in 2009 and several clubs were vying for his signature. Among these clubs was Italian giant AC Milan who was also keen on signing him. 1st of November 2009, it was announced Dominic Adia had joined AC Milan. However, it was one move many Ghanaians feel was a very big mistake. Because at the time, despite AC Milan not having depth in attack, they were having world-class forwards like Alexander Patu, Filippo Izaghi, Ronaldinho, Hansler, and clearly it was going to be difficult for Adia to break through. Blasters coach at the time, Milovan Rajivak, handed Dominic Adia a call-up to the national team, and he joined the squad for AFCON 2010 in January. And upon return, he secured his Italian work permit which made him eligible to play for AC Milan. However, he never played a part in the remaining season and was largely with the under-19 side of the club. But he was still included in the Blaster squad to represent Ghana at the 2010 World Cup. He made his World Cup debut against Germany where he came on as a substitute. He was once again a substitute in the crucial quarter-final game against Uruguay, a match which dramatically went into penalties. And unfortunately for Dominic Adia, he missed Black Star's fourth penalty which ultimately led to Black Star's elimination from the 2010 World Cup. Ahead of the 2010-2011 season, AC Milan appointed Maximilian Allegri as their new coach. Again, they welcomed some big names like Zlatan Ibrahimovic from Barcelona, Robinho from Manchester City, Antonio Cassano from Sampdoria, and Kevin Prince-Boateng from Genoa. And already having Alexander Pato, Filippo Izaghi, Ronaldinho, it became clear Adia was not going to get a chance and he had to leave on loan to get a game time. Between 2010 and 2013, the 2009 under 20 best player was loaned to four different clubs but he was unable to hit top four and his dreams of making it at the Italian capital was gradually fading away. After initially saying that he doesn't regret joining the club, he later made a U10 after the disappointment saying that it was a big mistake signing for AC Milan. After leaving AC Milan, he had stints at Kazakhstan and Ukraine, but it was the same story. In 2015, his quest to revive his football career finally landed him in Asia, where he joined Nakhon Ratchasima, a club in Thailand. Initially, he struggled, but his second season at the club was the closest he came to reviving his career. He scored 11 goals in 33 appearances for the club. However, he wasn't able to replicate that form the following season at the club. And also at his last two clubs, Dominic Adia is now 32 years old and has been without a club since 2021. And to many of us, it's very difficult to believe how Dominic Adia wasn't able to hit full potential with his amazing talent. Ransford also once stood on the same podium with Roman Reid made for the Tony Cruz. In 2007 after he made one of the best players in the 2007 and the tournament. Ose was awarded the silver shoe for his remarkable performance in the tournament. In that same year he was included in the 50 most exciting teenagers on the planet by the World Soccer magazine. One news portal at the time described him as an opportunistic goal machine due to his eye for goal and finishing abilities. Two years after the 2017 World Cup he was again called to join the Black Stars Light squad for the Under-20 World Cup in Egypt, where he dazzled alongside Dominic Adia in that talented Black Stars Light squad, which won the Under-20 World Cup in 2009. Rasford Osei finished that tournament with four goals. At the national team, Osei was a very deadly striker. He was very prolific. But at his club side, he was not outstanding. He was far from outstanding. And that was partly due to injuries. 
In fact, according to statistics available, he was not even able to score more than 10 goals in, in his whole club career. Just like Dominic Adia, he was also a journeyman who played in clubs in Israel, Spain, Netherlands, South Africa. Even at a point, he had spells here in Ghana with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. And his last club was in Lithuania. In 2021, following bouts with disappointment concerning his football career, Ransford Osei announced his retirement from football when he was just 30 years old. Those who remember the 2007 Under-17 World Cup clearly, Sadiq Adams was the partner in crime of Ransford Osei in that tournament. The two were the terrorizing figures in the starlight attack at the tournament. And just like Ransford Osei, Sadiq Adams was also part of the 50 most exciting teenagers on the planet. The list that was compiled by World Soccer Magazine in 2007. In fact, he sat above the likes of Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema, and Sergio Kunagweru. And after the Under-17 tournament, he was also one of the most sought-after players in that year, that is 2007. In 2008, he joined Atletico Madrid in a controversial circumstance which got him banned by FIFA. Adams had already signed a contract with Tunisian side Etoile du Sahel before joining Atletico Madrid, which was clearly a breach according to the FIFA rules. The ban saw him miss a place in the Black Satellite squad, which competed in the Under-20 World Cup in Egypt in 2009. However, at Atletico Madrid, he trained at the B side of the club, where he was teammate with David De Gea, who is currently at Manchester United. He was also teammate with Koki, who is currently the captain of Atletico Madrid. However, after just a season at Atletico Madrid, he joined Serbian side Vod Vodina, where he spent one season. And from there, he continued his career as a journeyman, where he played for 13 different clubs, including a prolific stint with Kumasia Sante Kotoko. And after his last stint at Bangladesh in the 2020-2021 season, he has been without a club. Sadiq Adams last played for the senior national team in 2017, making just two appearances. <music> Dominica Dia, Ebenezer Sifua, Ransford say Sadiq Adams, whenever these names are mentioned. The question which people usually ask is what went wrong? Because they were once wonder kids with unquestionable talent. And it's very difficult to believe how they couldn't hit their full potential. Some have attributed it to injuries. Others think it was bad agencies. Others think the GFA didn't do much to guide these players. Others even think it was lack of commitment on the part of these players. Or could it also be that Ghanaians expected too much from these players and that they were not special as we thought they were? Well, whatever the reason, none were able to emerge as a Samajan's replacement. However, the new Jan we are all hoping he wouldn't fade away soon is Felix Afnajan, whose talent has led many to tape him for greatness. And we hope he will continue to improve and replicate the heroics of Asamoah Jan.